good old Icona. Um, so now we're in, actually in the castle of Icona. Hearts? Uh, hearts? Hearts all the way, man. And so the castle of Icona is, really, <laughs> is a really cool place because uh, this was essentially okay, where the original um, king and queen of not well king, not, the royal family of this country was. And so I, I took you off. What? There's a lot of lore behind uh, Castle of Akana, and they've all been dead. And I don't know how for how long, but there was this great war they had with Stone Tower, I believe. And no, they, Stone Tower was where they sealed away all their evil spirits and the cursed yeah. and the dead. Oh well, they had a war with something. In fact, it was a civil war within their own country. Yeah, they had a civil war. The Garrows uh, are a big part of it, but we don't have time for the speak on that. But. Um, it's really quite interesting because that I don't know how long they've been dead for, but Skull Kid came Put and. On the mask. Oh no, my ringtone! Ah, ringtone! <laughs> Put on the um, mask. No, 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 no. Do as he would say. And <laughs> now, do you guys like the Russian ballet? Because I, I do. do. And uh, give it a second. Uh, give it a second. Oh, there they go. Shoot the. <laughs> use the fire arrows <laughs> on the eye to your left. In fact, you don't even have to walk up to them. You can shoot it from the door if you want to. Um, and once you shoot that, the door in, right in front of Kyle is going to open up, and you can just slip through that, and we'll go on from there. And so I know what to do for you, kind of castle. You don't need to guide me on that. Well, I'm, I'm not guiding you. I'm I know guiding you're the not. audience. I'm just, I'm, I'm just being I concur. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was kidding. Yeah, um, <laughs> so right here is this little jerky little puzzle. Um, so what you gotta do is what you waiting for? That. Oh, okay. Um, so the ceiling goes off and on, and what you gotta do is use a deck of scrub to fly through the air. And there's a switch right here that you can only get if you don't get smashed. And you usually want to get to the middle flower. Oh That's wow. That hurts. What? Oh, Did it, I thought it didn't do any damage. Anyways, so there's this flower. Yes, the flower right there is the one in front of it, and it's the one you can use best. You can either rush to there and immediately launch, or but that's kind of risky. So you can do what Kyle does: wait for the ceiling to fall, then push it back up with Deku Scrub, get back up there, take off the mask, and in order to press the switch, and then you can hop across to the other side. Um, and that's the puzzle. And then just jump over here. Yep, just don't land on the ceiling. I think it has, like, fire or whatever. What are you doing Heat. that for? Because of vengeance. Huh, okay. And so in this room, this is another thing you can do. Um, just make sure you have the arrows and hookshot and Deku Scrub like he's doing. And you can uh, use Deku Scrub to go to your left with the flower. And there's a chest to... Is there a chest to your right? No. Eh, if it is, it's probably not something we're allowed to pick up, but... Yeah. Anyways, and so once you get this switch down, there's actually an invisible floor right in front of Kyle, so you can just hop across it if you want. And so it should be right there. And then you can hop on the... Yeah! Yes! Skultula, I forgot about him. Shoot the Skultulas down, because obviously they're going to make you... Wish you were a, never born. Yeah, they're going to be a bit of a pain. Now you can actually hop across. And once you hop across there, you can hop to that one. And then hop to your right. The other way to do this is no, there's nothing there. <laughs> the other way to do this is that you can use a Deku flowers to fly across the room. However, but that's lame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Avoid those guys. <laughs> I would have got the pots though. Oh well. Um, you always go for the pot. <laughs> uh, Colorado. <laughs> uh. If you guys can't tell, we live in Colorado. Um, <laughs> and so you want to make sure you don't get hit by Dune to get. It's okay. Ah, we whatever. Just, it's um, it's what ups, man. What ups. Uh, so let's see. What was I saying? Oh yeah, you can fly across the room, but you have to shoot down the little mines. What do you call them? They're not Depth really charges. <laughs> okay, exactly. <laughs> just um, in the air. So over uh, here, you just gonna walk to the front of this, and there's a switch you can go get by using a Deku flower again. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? I'm going to. Blow. What? What are you doing? I'm going to blow up the roof. You can't get there. Here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, I thought the switch was for a heart piece. No, the switch. Um, I mean, you can get a heart piece over here, but the switch is to open up a skylight in the ceiling of the now roof. Now I remember. Yeah, and so once you open up a skylight, um, you can use it to get to a certain area. In, um, on you. you. 
Alright, so if you just fly across, you can press down the switch, which, I, like I said, opens up a skylight, and it's not the skylight we want to get to the very end of the dungeon, however, it does help. Now what you want to do to get to the next part is shoot down that eye with the eye of fire arrows. The eye of fire arrows? <laughs> eye of fire <laughs> The Deploy! Fire arrows, and go to your right because that's going to open up that door just like the other one opened up the left door. You don't say. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> so the reason that we needed that skylight is because now in this room right here, we have this skylight, which we can now use the mirror shield with. <laughs> ha! Loser. Light. Except his little children is going to make your day suck, and they don't die by light. Just open up. F them. Don't yeah. care. Yeah. And put on the Gibdo or the Garo mask Gero. and make no, them dance. No, it's the so Captain's don't... mask. Ca captain's mask. Any of the you. undead masks. Yeah, actually. undead masks help. Um, and then you're just going to be Russian dancers for some reason. And that was close. <laughs> I love that song. Um, so now we get to fight. fight oh! Those you want me to fight him? No, I'll, okay. I'll just, I'll kill him. My suggestion, fire, fire arrows. Fire or ice arrows, yeah. Except we fire have rice. Fire rice arrows. Fire, fire rice arrows. <laughs> I think personally the easiest way to fight him is to go into a corner and then you shoot from the corner because you can see all the different parts. And I don't know why, I've always just preferred to go from the center. Yeah, it's just once he gets like, like once he starts zooming around, it makes it harder to see him. If you just go in the corner, then you can like shoot from there. Yeah, get it. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, yeah. And so it's gonna make it easier once he starts running around like that. Uh, just make sure you always have your fire arrows out and ready to fire, because you can't see targets um, from all the way over here. So just be, yeah, like that. And he's a little bit tougher from the last time we fought him, which was in the Ice Temple, the uh, Snowhead Temple. And he's stronger only because he has more health. Um, however, if you do it like this, he's still super easy. What you doing? Oh, you're out of magic? All right, got him. Doesn't even matter. Okay. So, so now uh, that opens because that's a thing, and so now we're going up to the top. Oh, okay, good. It's a good thing you had those on. Um, if you kill these guys, um, they usually only give you money. However, the pots only made... money. Oh, <laughs> how awful. <laughs> um, so the pots usually have the what we want though. Actually, you should go back down. Yeah, and see it might if you give get me magic. some magic. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good call. Um, so magic we're gonna need because we have to burn down some curtains in the room where we fight what's his face the Joe Ed's fabrics is gonna be pissed <laughs> um, and so now that we're on the ceiling we can actually use the keg which we bought earlier which wasn't necessary for the well but it is necessary for blowing this up right here and so if you used keg um, to your right there's going to be a large crack in the ceiling which you can then use said cake to I don't, blow up, obviously. <laughs> and so you can either wait or shoot it down. Obviously, we're going to shoot it down because that's the superior option. <laughs> Unless you're a nanny. A nanny? Uh, Nancy, sorry. It's a Nancy. <laughs> I'm like, so you watch children. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now I, that we've... Wait, 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 before you go down, put on your uh, captain's mask. And that'll save you the trouble of fighting some redeads as yes. soon as you fall down. So now that we've defaced government property of the kingdom of Icona, <laughs> backflip! I always love backflipping down there. <laughs> At least just like stops in midair. Woo. Wait. Okay, now wait, 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 Where's just walk. Hi oh, guys, I'm just gonna go and oh I'm sorry! Oh, I'm, so I'm so sorry! Ah! <laughs> uh, so my nice accidental murderer! Yeah. I thought you put on the Actually we call that manslaughter. Though. I thought you put on the captain's mask. <laughs> I did. Oh, but it's not on your face. Well, then maybe I'm just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, there's actually another reason we're putting on the captain's mask right here. Because it makes an awesome cutscene. Oh, that was pretty awesome. Control um, stick and B. Yeah. Sweet. Ooh, magic. We actually got some. And so, there's a preferred strategy to fighting these guys right here. You don't break out the the captain's mask until you're fighting the king himself. The His cronies no. don't give you any dialogue. No, if you just walk up to the king and talk to him with the mask on, and the same thing happens. Meh. Let's just go. Yeah, well, either way, there's a preferred strategy to fighting these guys. Once they actually are like, oh, you have to die here. And so, he's like, this insolent one has brought the unthinkable into this land of the dark of Kana. And so he's like, oh, you're evil. My servants have fallen shamelessly, even Namelessly. though they were trying to kill me. 
Namelessly? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was shamelessly. And that is the King of Kana. And, and he's kind of... A jerk? Awesome. Oh, okay. And so... And now we're getting the anime-style showdown. <laughs> what? Immediately, burn down the curtains. Uh, pro preferably both of them, before we even try to fight them. Because if you burn them down, you can use what you can act, what you actually have to use to kill them. And then white. <laughs> Getting some Kingdom Hearts up in here. Once you burn down the first one, you're gonna want to go, preferably into the lights. I thought it was safe. Well, whatever the case, just find yourself a nice little spot and try to burn down the next curtain. They won't hurt you in here because they Usually, know. Usually, yeah. Um, so the strategy to fight these guys is to use the Deku Scrub plus Goron like I've showed you with the Gerudos because you can just spin around like the Deku Scrub and paralyze them in front of the light, use the Goron to immediately punch them, it should only take a couple hits, and then use your mirror shield to burn them because for some reason the light kills them immediately. Come here, friends. Ooh. Oh, okay, I'm like, what you doing? So then, Goron punch? Yeah, Stop. although it's easier if you, uh... If you just transform right next to them and freeze both of them. Preferably. Sorry, I've never done this before, yeah. so I'm trying to get used to it. Yeah, now you can so just then... pull off the mask. And if, the quicker you do it, the easier it is. And so, that's easy way to do it. Um, so now I do and, it again? Yeah, you just do it over and over. Switch mask, punch, and you should get both of them right like that. And I believe... Um, it only takes three hits-ish, um... Three hits-ish? Three hits-ish. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, wrong oh boy! One, wrong one, wrong oh yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, usually you can only get them from the back. If you only get one of them, it doesn't really make a difference, because... There you go. Uh, make sure he doesn't try to kill you, uh... There you go. Um, so shine on the other guy. Once they've fallen down, you can kill them with your mirror oh, shield. Oh, what is happening? Uh, you're uh, locked. Uh, this is and awful. It's too late. Yeah, you can kill the other guy I'm though. Sorry, that was that was really weird. Yeah. So pause. Uh, not pause. Freeze him. Get the Goron mask on. Punch him. Take off the mask immediately. Uh, shine on him with the shield, and there that's what go. kills them. So now you can kill the other guy by hitting him hey, nice. a few times. And the captain is the hardest one to fight because this one I'm fighting human. Okay, that's fine. Um, just as long as it doesn't seem too hard to do. I prefer to use the Goron simply because it's uh, easier to not get hit, and plus he does more damage than your Kokira Sword. With your Kokira Sword, it'll probably do about six points of dam. It'll take six points of damage, um, and so I keep on forgetting that this game actually has an HP system. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for enemies. Um, so once you burn him, the captain guy freaks out, busts on your captain's mat hat because it's a bit of a funny scene. This is pretty funny. <laughs> And he's like, oh, now you did! Oh, I'm gonna kill you now! Now you did! And, and he so, sounds exactly like that in my mind. So. If you walk up to him, he's what? like, what? What? <laughs> 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 Awkward! <laughs> oh, Kitra! <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait a minute! Oh! <laughs> and then he's like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> Hold on a minute. But you're but so... so... I love the I love the animation. Well, screw on it. you! I'm taking a <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, almost had me there. <laughs> um. So now this is the actual what? fight with Captain. Um. Try to use this strategy because if you don't, he ends up using his head a lot, and his head you can't hurt him with, but he can hurt you because now his body and his head are trying to kill you. And the and head is a guaranteed hit, by the way. There's no way to dodge it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. If you get if the head get busts hot. out, get hot. You should probably get Take some heart. Uh, so once that happens, you still might want to get some heart. Just, yeah. Just do the old. What do you? Oh, oh the captain's mask. mask was. Oh, hey, put on the captain's mask. It'll go great. You're the Thanks. One, you wanted to do it too. Get on the Deku scrub. He has yeah. Good shield. The, the Deku scrub has pretty good shield. Um, you might have already used the only heart Me. one. Okay, and now we're just gonna be the punch dummy for a little bit of time. Yeah. Okay, and the head is gonna try to Freedom come and position. get us, and the head is like, oh, oh, oh I didn't know that that could happen. What in the world? Uh, there we go. Be right back. That <laughs> BRB. All right, Sonny. Round two. I am going to end your life. <laughs> I'm going to do it slowly and painfully. And Actually, I think you should probably do try to do it quickly so yes. it doesn't do that head yes, thing. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> 
friggin' So panting. yeah, my best suggestion is kill him as quickly as possible. Don't leave his side. Just go Goron, Deku, Goron, Deku, Goron, Deku. And he never has the chance to pull off his head. Um, so yeah, there's the third time. He's about to try to do it, I think. There's the fourth time. Pull it off and smack that. And one more time, I believe. Um, don't let him... Oh, there you go. I'm gonna punch him right into the light. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, I think it takes more what than that, the? apparently. I guess I was just wrong with it. Just get him quickly. Oh, he was ah. about to freeze. I mean, he was about to breathe fire. Not fire. What the uh, Is he, he immortal? Has, he has a lot of HP. That's why he's one of the harder bosses. Um, except that's it. Go into the light. Go into the light and shine it on him. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it burn up and this die. Light of get, get a little closer. Uh, now get, get to him. Get him quickly. Don't let- oh, he's about to do the head thing. Okay, now get the Goron mask on, get the Goron mask on. And evade! Um, the best way to try to get this, uh, just try to roll around the room, and don't let him touch you, and except it's really hard to do that. Um, apparently he's having an interesting time. I don't know what he's doing at this very moment, I can't even see him. Oh look, night of the second day. It's night time! Um, where is this guy? In the center, probably. Probably like, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. So that's how you can dodge it. Yeah, it's probably an easier way. Uh, like Rita said, he in the past what he does is he just uses the bunny hood and runs around and tries not to let him get it. For the most part, it's impossible to um, not get hit by it. Ooh, speaking of getting hit, oh well, it wasn't much damage. Um, and so what you can do to avoid it is either run away and hope he doesn't hit you, or what you can do is also, uh, like you just saw, roll around and don't let him touch you. Um, but still, if if he had been a if we had been lucky enough to reach him with light, we wouldn't have that to oh, deal with that. Hit, <laughs> get him. And he's right next to the light, so just keep him in that area, and you That's should be I'm good. Um, I'm kind of curious why the light doesn't affect them while they stand in it, but as soon as you shine it affects on them, them, but not him. Yeah, well, possibly just because he's so much stronger, so much... Because he's the king. And... <laughs> Get him. Thank you. Oh, now pull off that mask and burn him to a crisp. Die! Die, potato. Ha! 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 As you can tell, ha! Kyle didn't like that fight. <laughs> I really wish I could just walk into the spotlight and just burn up their floating awful little hands. Yeah, except then you would not get the song. I love how they have the giant just crap talking session. You know what this reminds me of? What? Komei and Kotek. Yep, exactly. See, because they're spirits, they're dead, and they're all fighting. And it's really funny if you listen to the dialogue, they're just calling each other out. Um, and then they realize they're dead. He's like, draw your weapon, and he's like, how? <laughs> and then the king shines a little bit of light on the situation. He's like, oh, you skipped it all. Yes, I am skipping it, sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, essentially, he's like, isn't it uh, petty fights like this that caused our kingdom to crumble? And he describes about what happened to Ikana, and he describes about how some masked person came and opened the doors to Stone Tower. Stone Tower being an impenetrable stronghold filled with the darkness that ruined their kingdom. Skull Kid came over here and just opened it all the way up. And he's whoa, like, whoa, I'm gonna count on you whoa, to whoa, whoa, fix whoa. this. Whoa. And so now he's giving whoa. us a song we need whoa. to actually whoa. go whoa. through whoa. Stone Temple, because without it, we wouldn't be able to complete it. Um, and you'll see in the year in a second what it actually does for us. It's called the Elegy of Emptiness. And it's also one of the most horrifyingly creepy things in the Oh, game. seriously. Especially for Link. Because he's like, oh, drugs. Oh. oh, wait, no, that wasn't drugs. It's and just that. Uh, He's a demon. Uh, ben. Ooh, uh, ooh. <laughs> uh, no Ben jokes. It's what. Oh, Ben is so stupid. Oh, it's so dumb. Ah, uh, we're not gonna explain what Ben is. Just the creepy pasta. Creepy pastas are so retarded. <laughs> Um, on my so kingdom, shine the light of justice. Now he's counting on us. And once you've defeated... And uh, now Captain I'm teabagging his invisible corpse, which since <laughs> he is a ghost, I'm going to assume has diffused over the entire room. <laughs> Take it! Hey, on, go out and kill those re-deads for some money. Because right after, the last thing you want to do before you go back in time is you want to have to buy the All Knights Mask. And so you want to go to Night of the Last Day and 
I would have put on the mask so you. Oh, never mind. I'm um, not you. Well, I was just so they wouldn't have frozen you. Oh well. And so now they drop all the money, and we're gonna want 500 rupees to buy that uh, mask. And so I'm not sure how much we have in the bank, but with this almost 200, we should be pretty close. We'll just see you back at uh, Clocktown. Clock right. Let's investigate our capitalistic adventures. Okay, so let's see how. No, not no. To... Don't deposit. Uh, we want to withdraw. Yes, money. investigate. I still think that she has some sort of interdimensional time racket uh, going on. What's be you doing? Okay, there you go. Just fraud. <laughs> That's a cruel joke. Um, so, well, I mean, I I've explained it like, to you though before, though, right? You've tried, and I still so, think it's bupkis. You didn't pay attention to how much we had. Yeah, I know. I see. Okay, <laughs> mashed. I'm sorry. I always do this. Um, so, if we're going to withdraw money, we have uh, 310 rupees in the make. That's, That's awesome. That's not bad. That's not bad. We just need to We go, just need like, 20 more. Withdraw all of it. Um, so, in terms of secret money, if you guys don't have enough... Um, oh, she's taking the fee. Anyways, if you, if you guys don't have enough, there's a few So, sets. because of her fee, I couldn't withdraw that much because, essentially... So, 306. Just do 300. Uh, so, anyways, um, there's a few secret rupees throughout the clock town and everything that you can get to. There is a uh, 100 rupee that you can get to that we've shown you in the past if you hop across the signs um, above the exit in uh, which is it East Clock Town? Yeah, we already have that one. Yeah, we, we also have that the one, one in the sewer. There's the one you can go in the sewer if you blow up got the it. wall to your left. We already got that too. We already got the one in the center of Clock Town. There's the yes, there's the twenty rupee in the center of Clock Town you can hook shot to. Each of these regenerate each time, by the way. And then there's the one at the washing pool or whatever it on is. The second night. On the second night you can get to it. Sixty rupees. Oh yeah. You said. Let's go do that. And so. Um, and then we'll just skip to the night of the third day. And the thing about the 60 rupees is that um, they also regenerate, but they're only available on the night of the second day. On the first day, ah, this, oh, this no. guy. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's, uh, he's so awful. It's like a temporary navvy. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> on the first day, Reed said that behind us... Uh, Stop it! Shut up! I don't want to listen to you! No, I have nothing for you, I swear. Seriously. Friggin' idiot. Um, so, yeah. He's probably one of the more annoying people of the game. Um, yeah. So, on the first day, they're behind the fence. Gates. Fence. Gate. It, there's a gate in the river that they're behind, but now the gate is open, so they are in the Yeah, and they wash. Thing. And so, on the night of the third day, they've washed so far that you can't get to them. So, they're only available now. And Baby! now we have enough. And we're gonna want to skip to the night of the last day. And so we can Let's go. Let's do the time warp again. All right, guys. So now that's actually ten o'clock. We can go into the what is it called? Curiosity shop, and we can buy pawn the uh, well pawn shop. Yeah. Yeah, the we're pretty much mask. So since this lets you stay up all night, we're pretty much literally buying crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crack on a face. Um. Anyways, it's the crack mask. This is just it, one awesome crack pipe. That's all. It it, it's kind of funny because that even though we Yoink! we blew up second. In episode 12, like you saw, we, which oh no, I kind of lost my absolute tits. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and so, even though we blew him up, he was still able to deliver it. No, and I think, I think it, what it is is the curiosity guy had it in the shop, and instead of putting out the bomb bags on the last night, he he's puts like, that out. Okay, let's. Well, you actually see Sakon still deliver this. Um, we do? Well, actually, maybe not. Well, either case, it's the night of the festival. We'd like to show you what happens, but we can't yet. So, instead, let's do the time warp and see you guys next time. This has been J Ron. It's been Kyle. And this has been Reed. And this is Kyle playing the song of time. Peace out, yo. If you talk to this guy, um, he's some sort of sailor dude, and he's like, oh, he's fixing the bridges, but I have something for you. I'll tell you an amazing story. Uh, want to pass some time away? I'll tell you the tale, and you'll find it interesting. If you're like, yeah, he's he'll tell you it. If you say no, he'll tell you it. Here, let's just use my special right. Oh my goodness, he's about to charge. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Shove, shove. Okay, at least I got. Ow, ow! You didn't even stop him. <laughs>